It is a pleasure to be here today to tell all of you here at the AGI Users Conference and those of you watching by video uh, a little bit about the Google Lunar X Prize and about some exciting news that we have to introduce you to today. For those of you not familiar with the program, the Google Lunar X Prize is the world's largest ever international incentive-based prize, offering a prize purse of $30 million and growing for privately funded teams from anywhere on the planet that can successfully land a robot on the lunar surface, explore the lunar surface by roaming around for a half a kilometer, and returning two packages of high definition video and high resolution images we call Mooncast back to the surface of the Earth. Uh, we firmly believe that when one or more of our teams lands on the lunar surface as the first ever private team, it will be the first time a robot has explored the lunar surface since 1976 connecting new generations of people all around the planet with the excitement of space travel, of exploration, of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, since we've announced this prize, several companies have come on board and said that they are so supportive of the prize goals and of all the teams that are pursuing this prize that they would like to uh, offer their services for free or at a steep discount uh, to aid in the process of our teams attempting to win this prize and to raise the likelihood that we ultimately uh, do hand out the prize to award a winner. One of these preferred partners, as we call them, Space Exploration Technologies, just accomplished a historic launch last week, and we'd like to congratulate them on that. Other partners are offering things like discounted or free communication services, and one, the state of Florida, Space Florida, is offering a $2 million bonus to teams that win the prize by launching from their, uh, from their state. But today, we're very, very pleased to welcome our newest preferred partner to the uh, competition, and as you can probably guess from our location, that partner is AGI, Analytical Graphics Incorporated. Uh, all of our teams are extremely excited and thrilled, really, to be uh, able to have a chance to use SDK and the other software solutions that AGI provides, which will help our teams as they both design their mission and do perform mission analysis and operations in real time, but also as they seek to promote themselves and their prize missions to the media, to potential donors, sponsors, and investors. Uh, so I hope you all join me, uh, join me in saying a quick thank you to AGI. I think this is the beginning of a wonderful partnership, uh, and I know all of our teams are very much looking forward to working with you. <laughs> Uh, our contest has been up and running for just over a year now. We had our one-year birthday only a few weeks ago. Uh, and in that time, we have been joined by a number of incredibly impressive teams from all around the world. Since we announced this prize in September of last year, we have received well over 1,500 requests for the rules and registration forms pouring in from 80 countries around the world. And we have teams already registered and already working on this prize in more than 30 countries around the planet. Uh, today, I'm very, very pleased to introduce you to our two newest teams uh, who are here in person to tell you a little bit about themselves, about how they hope to win the prize, why you should be a supporter of them, and, and, and to help you get to know them a little. Uh, I will uh, allow them to introduce themselves, so uh, without further ado, I would like to call to the stage the representative of Team Independence X, our second team from Asia, and actually our second team from the country of Malaysia. Representing Independence today will be Mohammed Izmir Yamin, uh, who is the uh, team director, uh, the, excuse me, the team leader as well as a technical program director. Uh, Izmir is a medalist in several rocketry competitions throughout uh, both Asia and Europe and is bringing a lot of technical experience to an exciting team that we're very welcome to join, uh, join in the competition. So without further ado, Izmir. Thank you very much, Will. And uh, I'm glad and uh, I'm very excited to be here in Chicago and AGI this morning. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. I'm uh, Mohamed Izmi Yamin, the team leader of Independence X Aerospace Base in Malaysia. Together with me today, uh, we have uh, technical department advisor, Dr. Thomas Atewat, expert in uh, aerospace propulsion. And uh, we have uh, assistant technical director, Mohamed Hadi Anwar Fakhrizi. And uh, lastly, we have uh, non-technical director, Mohamed Hisham Mokhtar. Okay, um, and uh, today our team is formed from students and professors from one of Malaysia's premier universities, University of Technology Mara, also known as UITM. The Malaysia Entrepreneur Development Center, or MEDAC, is our main collaboration partner in this project. Praise to the Almighty for His en enabling us to take part in the humanity's dream to escape Earth and reach for the stars. Our team name, Independence, signifies our mindset to overcome the obstacles of doubt that we can actually succeed in our aspiration to land a rover on the moon. 
We hear these doubts from many people, but they only inspire us to work harder. Team Independence X Aerospace is a multinational team consisting of experts from Malaysia, the United States, Indonesia, and Russia. We are actively recruiting team members from all parts of the world very soon. This is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, and we can ensure you that we are ready to compete and progress Malaysia forward as a space-faring nation. Our strategy is to fully utilize strategic equatorial location for space launch activities. The concept behind our strategy is to come up with a simple and cost-effective design to fully complete the goals of Google Lunar X Prize. Innovation and perseverance is the key to our success. We welcome potential partners, sponsors, and investors to join us and support us in this magnificent journey to commercialize the space industry and benefit of all humanity. I would like to also thank our team chairman, Prof. Dr. Ibrahim Abusha, who is also the Vice Chancellor of UITM, for his support and trust. And also to associate uh, Professor Norella Nuruddin, the Director of PEDEC, who has also been supporting this team from the very beginning. I would like to also thank XPRIZE Foundation, Google, and AGI for giving us this opportunity to soar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Izmir. Uh, we are, as I said, incredibly thrilled to be welcoming new teams and especially uh, Independence X coming from Asia and being a multinational team. Uh, as we can see with the spacecraft in orbit around the moon right now, it is a new era in lunar exploration. It's one that is welcoming of international teams and multinational teams, and, and we're always happy to add those to the competition. Uh, our second new team that we're adding today is called Omega Envoy. They come from the state of Florida. They hail from our space coast the site of the first manned launches to the moon, uh, and what I'm sure they hope will be the site of uh, many more robotic missions to come. Representing them today is Ruben Nunez, the project director for Omega Envoy. Ruben. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Ruben Nunez, the director of the Omega Envoy project, accompanied by our engineering and space concepts director, Jason Dunn, our director of MARCOM, Stephen Vaughn, and our propulsion lead, Justin Bales. Let me first thank the XPRIZE Foundation and AGI for having us here today and for all of you who are here to support our team and to support the importance of space exploration. Today we have been announced as the, an official team to compete in the Google Lunar XPRIZE, but in a sense, we are also here to announce our newly founded company, Earthrise Space Incorporated. Earthrise Space is a nonprofit company founded by myself as well as other students and professionals from the Central Florida area. We were founded with a mission of connecting student engineers with business professionals. Earthrise Space supports a permanent settlement of outer space by fostering technological advancements that are critical to make this dream become a reality. Earthrise Space Incorporated started the Omega Envoy project to compete in the Google Lunar X Prize. In fact, we were surprised that no other team had been formed from Florida before us. Nonetheless, the ultimate goal is to unite Florida by claiming this prize. After all, we are the home team. With the Omega Envoy project, we plan to maintain Florida's position as a global leader in the space industry. Perhaps more important, however, is the effect that this will have on the public conscience. This contest will drastically change the way the community sees space and redefine what is possible. Regardless of whom wins, the victor of the XPRIZE will have proven that you do not need government administration, exotic technology, or industry backing to unlock the final frontier. It is open to all people on Earth, all backgrounds, nationalities, and all ways of life. Thanks to the modern advances in digital media and communication, everyone can take part in the next giant step. Thank you once again. Will? Okay, thank you very much, Ruben. Uh, one exciting thing about prizes in general, and this one in particular, is their ability to engage students. You'll find many of our teams have students involved in critical path roles uh, without the projects, and Omega Envoy certainly is no exception to that. Uh, we wish them the best of luck, and uh, as we recall that the first time humans went to the moon, uh, the average age of the engineers working on that program was 26. Uh, I think a lot of our teams exhibit a similar age, uh, age range, and, and that's something that we're proud of and very eager to watch as we move forward. Uh, so as you can see, this race is off to a fantastic start. As I mentioned, we have 14 teams, uh, 12 in addition to the two that you've just met. I know five or six of them are in the audience here at this conference. I encourage you to look out for them. If you have additional questions, please feel free to seek me out or members of my staff or members of the teams. We are more than happy to talk to you. Uh, I think you'll find that both the prize and the teams are, are open for business. 
uh, and eager to talk to you if you're a potential job applicant, a customer, investor, or anything else. Uh, I also will inform you that I'm giving a further talk with some more details about the prize today at 1.30 uh, over just down the hall in the AB room. Uh, so please feel free to join us there. Uh, so with that, thank you again for your attention and uh, good luck to all of our teams.